All right. Some Flames notes off the top of the Pinder Report today, my friends, including Troy Stetcher. On with Donnie and Dolly, two of our homies in Vancouver, do a great show on Czech TV. Our homies. Yeah, they're good good dudes. Don Taylor? Yeah. Rick Dollywell? I've not met either, but my homies. Rick set me up with an interview for the Vancouver Giants way back in the day. How'd that go? Not well at all. You need the AI I, bot. I had to... the worst haircut of my life that day. I was not feeling good, and they made me photocopy shit for two hours and never asked me anything. I thought, mm. Mm, could be better. Troy Stetcher was on. Good pal of the show, Troy Stetcher, former Penticton Another v, one of our boys. Our national homies. champion with North Dakota, undrafted Troy Stetcher. Let's go. And you're going to like this, Rhett, and it speaks to what you've been talking about. This isn't everyone against Daryl. Troy liked playing for Daryl. From Arizona to Calgary, another obvious question. That's what we, what we do here, Troy. We ask obvious questions. What was it like uh, playing for Daryl Sutter? It was great. I actually really enjoyed playing for him. He's a really well-respected coach. Um, he's had a ton of success around the NHL, uh, dating back to uh, even his time in Calgary. I think he was the coach and GM in their 4 run, and obviously he won the Stanley Cup with L.A., and uh, he was a player back in the day. So he was someone that I came into, kind of heard a lot of different things from some of the players there that uh, were former teammates, and um he was someone I, I respected and was a coach I liked playing for. He's kind of my style of coach, uh, and we got along great. So, um, obviously, it's tough to see him go, but that's part of the business. To, to Daryl Sutter, sorry to harp on that a, a lot, but you said he's your type of coach. What do you, what do you mean by that? Um, I don't think it's a surprise that I'm not the I'm no offensive defenseman, a uh, natural stay-at-home defenseman. Uh, I'm not going to be a superstar. I feel like I'm a good supporting piece and a depth player. Um, and I'm a player that works hard and keeps my mouth shut. And he's a coach that really respects that and expects the best out of you. Um, and if you're going to pout and you're going to complain, which I don't think I do as, as an individual, then you're obviously going to hear it from him. So he's someone that I respect in the fact where if you work hard, he's going to give you an opportunity. And um, that's exactly what he gave me in Calgary. He gave me a great opportunity to play an important role for their team on the third pair and uh, a lot of meaningful minutes. So uh, I, I really enjoyed my time with him. So what was missing okay. in Calgary, Troy, is the Flames failed to make the playoffs. A lot of talent there. You know what? I don't really know. Um, when I got there at the deadline, we went 11-4-4. Four and four. So it wasn't like we played bad. Like, we played some really good hockey after the deadline when I got acquired. And, um, it just seemed like some of their issues might have uh, happened earlier in the season. I know they went through a seven-game losing stretch, I think, back in November, uh, obviously when I was in Arizona. So... When you lose that many games consecutively, which I went through in Arizona, we had some stretches like that. It's really hard to make up ground in this league. And um, sometimes when you get behind the eight ball, you, that's kind of the right. Good stuff from Troy there. And what your immediate reaction to that? Uh, first off, sign this kid. But secondly. Yeah, get him in a jersey. Seriously. Rhett, when you make that one of your first orders of business, when you get in there as GM. We'll get, we'll get Troy in the nailed down here shortly before the end of the month it shouldn't be too much trouble yeah. he wants to be there we want to have him are you eating um, nuts <laughs> the fuck is happening i was here? actually i was eating Some trail mix nuts. or what do you got there I not cashews today. i know you fucking hate no, cashews no I, you know what i heard that uh heard that yesterday and you know the pessimist will say he's not going to come on and crush him and then on the other hand if that's how he felt what a you're going to say he's lying? I, well, I don't and know. to his he, point, they were 11-4-4. Four, and four. There's nothing to be upset about. They, the were, one thing, they were on a heater down the stretch. The one thing that I take there is if you know, play hard, keep your mouth shut, that sort of thing. If you're going to pout and complain, you're going to have a problem, which leads me to believe that he saw maybe some instances of pouting, pouting and, and complaining. complaining. It seems kind of weird to just kind of pull that out of thin air, no. which, again, draw your own conclusions here. But this this is, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to make chicken soup out of chicken. But that's not even the saying I was going for. But No, it's not. No. It, it does seem like there's a lot of gross soup. A lot of shit going on underneath the surface of that dressing room, doesn't it? I agree. You got yes, one guy, yes. on one, you know, one guy in uh, Huberdo. He had no issue saying he had problems with with Sutter another guy oh he's not going to talk for if Huberto's willing to talk honestly then I got to take Stetcher 
at yeah. his word. So he's talking honestly. And then you hear through Elliot that, you know, maybe there were some players that were fine, change the coach. That's, but those guys that couldn't handle this coach, they better be able to handle the next coach. So it just, yeah. the, the whining. To Foley was on comment. record. Right? So, to Foley I said, did. he loved, he said, I love Daryl. So yeah. yeah. there's lots there. And, and again, I, I, I with Daryl gone, the excuses are gone for this, this, uh, you know, high paid, locked in group. And I think no one more than Huberto. Kadri? I, I think for Huberto, he's the highest paid guy. He's been vocal. Yeah. We haven't heard from Kadri, right? Kadri hasn't no. come out and said anything. Huberto has. Yeah. So yeah. whether that's fair or unfair, right or wrong, whatever you want to call it, I think that this now, if, if this year was pressure packed for Jonathan Huberto, I don't think it's any less, maybe more going into next no. year. And I, again, it's. Um, to, to the Elliot quote yesterday, like this next coach better be the one that it works with. <laughs> Which is all fine Indeed. and good. Yeah. And we'll be, able, if, if it, if it doesn't work with the next coach though, so we're going to have the satisfaction of saying, told you, Huber, no, you now you're no good. We still got no, seven just, years. Get another coach. They'll get another coach in two years and, and a bit. That's my point. Work. It's, it's that. shelf life. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't work. We're still stuck in the same shitty situation. We're stuck in. Which to me, and Hence I think we're all on the same page. Yeah, like there's something, there is. And there has been for a while. There's sure. something there, yeah. which is why this hiring of a GM is so important to the next five, 10 years, I feel, of this team. Yes. And are you signing some guys long term? Are you getting rid of anybody? Are you yeah. going young? What are you doing? Because so, it's going to impact things moving forward for a long time. Okay, and we've had we have. I think we're all on the same page on most stuff. We can have a stronger opinion or lean one way or another. But is having been around it, having been around this organization, having seen it, having had the turnover and watched it unfold, is it better to have that, as in a Craig Conroy or a Pascal or something? Or is it better to be far removed and to be able to come in with a clean slate and go, I will self-evaluate this myself. I don't need a past history or a biased history or right. right? What's a better scenario for you guys? Well, it's one of the reasons I'm okay with them with this open search. I know it would be great if it was just boom, there's Craig, there's the job, but this is an organization that needs to look outward. It's not been run well enough that you can assume someone that's hanging around watching your guys at work is the best candidate, even if you might be. An outside guy is still going to come in and have conversations to find out. So tell me what happened here, even if you have your own way of thinking. And it, it sounds like I'm just trying to defend Craig. But just because Craig has been there doesn't mean that he's agreed. And I know for sure. The way I, things have gone or the way things should go, because I've been here. He may be sitting there better, more than anybody seeing what needs to happen and how wrong everything has been. My belief is that Craig and, and Brad would build teams differently, not one better, one worse, but they prioritize different things. I don't think you're getting the same hymn book here at all if, if Craig's a GM. And I know that there have been, like you've said, Red, it's good to have people disagreeing. I know there have been times where Craig has... Where, Treliving and the Flames have done something where Craig hasn't thought that's what they should do. Or vice versa, pushing for something that doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. And that's, I think that's great. That's the sign of a healthy organization. I, I think you want collaboration. You want, you know, lots of different ideas. And if you get lots of very, very sharp people at what they do in analytics and coaching in the AGM and GM chairs, you know, you're going to find lots of ways to be better than theoretically some of the other 32 teams out there. And sign Troy Stetcher. And try, yes. And you could sell oh, okay. Nikita Zadaro's 14 fucking that. goals. Holy shit. 14. Okay. So that was the first piece of the pin report. That's how you kill some time on the pin report when you got a shitty voice, eh? I guess so. On the other side, here's uh, Frank Saravalli yesterday on some radio station in Calgary. Uh, in talking to various people around the league that have connections to Calgary, the sentiment was any trade requests that were out there or demands. So so to speak, have been rescinded now that there's been a coaching change. And again, it just paints the picture of there are absolutely all sides of this. This is not one right and one wrong. There's not one villain. There is many facets to what's going on here. There are many things that went poorly this year. And there were some guys, and maybe time, 
the boiling point comes down a little bit, but there were, we're led to believe there were some guys that just said, I'm, I'm not going to come. I back. can't do this again. So yeah, fair or not blame whoever you want, but that was something that had taken. So, place. so uh, rank- just to be a, just no wait, just to be a bit of a dick. So what if, what if they said, yeah, what are you going to do? Daryl's coaching. Well, I think there's enough free agents. Do you, uh, my point, my point say. is, do you honest? I don't know. Say it's five. Oh, you got to walk the walk. Uh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, you're going to come to camp. Sit at home and give to up. Yeah. No, you're not. No. And I, I, I think it's less to do with like trade requests so much as if you're Elias Lindholm, the only guy you can squint and see a number one center in this whole organization. He's not resigning here. If that guy's here now, maybe that tone changes. And it's like, okay, let's talk about what an extension would look like rather than this conversation is not starting. And I don't know that to be true. I'm just giving you an example. There's enough key parts of this team one year away from walking away for nothing. This is the summer you had to negotiate new deals or figure out what trade value is and make the decision. Do we sign you? Do we trade you? Do you walk you into the season UFA? Now it appears all three options are still on the table for all these guys. And it doesn't fix it that those guys didn't want to co- work. Oh, I'm not coming back because they're okay. Well, I guess you're happy now. So come back. You better get along and be a team and yeah. gel and all that shit and play and, better. And it doesn't mean the next coach is going to be easy. It just means that they, you know, and, and I, I think honestly, like the shelf life of an average NHL coach, Daryl just had that here. Wasn't like this incredibly awful run. Like it's just, that's how it goes. It's two and a half, three years, you know? Is it really? Probably. I'll find it for you. But um, yeah. See, and I think that's a. I, I look at Peter isn't DeBoer. That, as now, isn't there a different way of doing it? Isn't there a different way of doing? We're great at numbers, but like actually, Matt, is there a medium or a median and an average or different or for whatever? Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, the, like, the short spells would be real short. You're right. Uh, but there's also guys that have held their jobs like Barry Trotz in Nashville for what, like 12 years. Well, and that. wasn't it Claude Julien was going to be fired and then Boston won the cup or whatever. Like there's always those instances. And I get guarantee you Paul Maurice was probably going to get gunned out of Florida if they missed the playoffs this year. Now well, all of a sudden and, he's in two, two wins away from a conference final. And then in Montreal, they go to the cup final. That's what, yeah. And it's boom, you're fired. You know, the, the French Canadian coach at ran world yeah. juniors, Dominic Duharm, I believe, or Ducharme. Yeah, Ducharme. And then he was gone. Now Marty St. Louis. And like, that's three coaches in, four years there like it's and we know that daryl wears on guys and that's not to say oh look at this flaw because he clearly gets the most out of guys when he's when he's right but there's fatigue your coaching hire is going to be a big one rat it's huge and again you're gonna have to do an exhaustive search and pick yourself i'll talk to lots of people but i got a pretty good indication on who it's going to (laughs) be you got an idea who it'll be yeah good all right (laughs) wranglers game day this voice is awful. Oh, is it? I have yeah. noticed. Abbotsford tonight. Look at this. And that's your boy, Nick D. Simone, getting some love. Shit, Brett. yeah. Let's go. 27. We're in an A. Mm-hmm. Let's go, fellas. Big game tonight. One game's one and two at home in overtime. Lost by one. Three one-goal games so far. Chance to impress your new general manager there, Nick. Big game tonight. Rhett will be at the baseball game. But oh, just, actually, just by the time he's home at 10 Eastern, that's Red, perfect. Red yeah. will hear it. He gets every night. All that uh, data will be sent to him by way of email. You'll glean through it. Really like what I'm seeing out of D. Simone here in uh, Abbotsford. Okay. So to NHL, last night's results, saw a couple of games. Leafs, very good. But when they weren't good, they allowed two in less than <laughs> two minutes. Excuse me. <laughs> Not good enough. Panthers win 3-2, and the Stars, they got up early and hung on against the Kraken to even that series at one. It's You know what? It's not the Leafs' fault. That damn Sam Bennett, he shouldn't be allowed. He's a menace, and he shouldn't be allowed to play. I mean, it's just it's it's, hard. It's, it's just a terrible – I when, can't believe yeah. the NHL is allowing this to continue. I say they do a walkout, do a strike like the IRS people or whoever it is, Get the union. We're not playing till this guy is gone. Right. When's Bettman going to address this? Well, actually, uh, it has been addressed. So here's your oh. 5K. That'll it's teach him, Rhett. This bunting guy seems to be in the middle of a lot. 
go get them, Red. Maybe that's what you need. Free agent, I believe. Mm -hmm. I might bring him in. Flame. Let's we'll think about it. Lots of cap space uh, after you trade everyone. Him and yeah. Walker. He's crushing guys. You all right, Pinder? Do you want to just wrap? No, this up? I'm awful. One game tonight. Let's look. I don't what? know what's happening. Just one. That's it. Huh. Oilers needed that extra day. Carolina. The hosting the boring game. <laughs> Let's hope not. Could be. If it was like the first one, what, 5 1 game one? Oof. Yeah, I mean, Cinco de Mayo. Maybe you go out have some tacos and shit tonight. Margaritas. You can, you can, you know, if you can miss one, maybe this is it. Although, yeah, hey, Pinder, come on, New Jersey. Get back, get back in. Pinder, Let's go. Pinder needs more Mexican for sure. Yeah, you got plans for tonight for sure, right? Oh, I'm funneling tequila somewhere. Yeah. Mezcal at a minimum. Yeah. Gross. Uh, World Championships. We have some roster news involving the Flames. First, yesterday we saw this with the Calgary Flames. Matthew Coronado going to play for Team USA Retro at the upcoming World Championships in Riga, Latvia. Wonderful place. There he is, eh? Huh? It's a pike bomb. Mm -hmm. I saw the Zambonis play there. The Zambonis. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for Team Canada, also some Calgary Flames content. Three players to Foley, Lucic up front, Kenzie Weger on the back end. Isn't that nice? Why is Team that Canada a bunch of old pricks? Because everyone else is not old. Fantilli, Kraus, <laughs> Blay, Krebs, Neighbors, Quinn, Valeno, oh, okay. Bear. Yeah, it's pretty green group. Does that, that say something about our Flames team? That they're sending old guys to this? I don't know. Dude, or the, all the other guys are young, young players. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. How about both? Jay I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Like Toffoli, sure. He had an unbelievable year. I mean, you're taking Lucic for his leadership, I guess. But so we have no kids that should be going. I guess maybe Manjapani would, but he's hurt. Like, there was no one. Well, Dubé's, Dubé's ineligible because of his the 2018 team. None of the until that stuff is done. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I'm not allowed to play for Team Canada. Do you understand my point though? Magic like, shoulder surgery. Otherwise, he'd be a guy that went. Stetcher said he'd play, but he doesn't have a contract. Doesn't want to jeopardize that. Could have been a lot of flames. Again, yeah, they don't really have not a great guys, to be honest. The, the, again, yeah, not, not a great thing. So, we, so we don't have any kids on the team. And we well, looks like we have a bunch of old guys. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rhett, this is not how you're going to. In... It's not going to curry favor with the Flames because you're taking shots at them. I'm here. not you just had that lovely anything. letter. I'm, I'm pointing out the fact that they need me to get their someone to pull all this crap together and get them on the right path. That's right. All right, two items left. Okay. Tom Brady, life is so good. He might say no to $375 million. What? 10-year deal with Fox, 375 mil. Saying right now, more likely to walk. Life's pretty good there. It looks like he's an F1 event. I see a Patronus. It logo. sounds crazy, right? Well, how could you? How could you? But he's probably But the thing the is, bill. in the football season, it means you're working every weekend for four months but still he, he doesn't need money if you have all of the money you'll ever spend if you every time you go to the friggin bank machine it just spits out million dollar bills at you are there is that a thing right a well, million dollar a long, bill? i've not had one but you no know, it's a long year long contract you're traveling too, every weekend during the football season 10 years is a lot and it's isn't he supposed to be on the mass singer or something like that was not the you know what the else like he played last year right yeah give him a year off well no i know but give him a year off because we'll oh, come back yeah take a year off to whoosh unwind relax get it because after a year you he might realize oh i do need something to do because i can tell you when i retire six months phenomenal this is amazing i don't have f all to do after that it's like oh Guess I'll have a coffee. How fat because... did you get? <laughs> unlike unlike now <laughs> that you're horribly tied down to your work duties and responsibilities. I'm a sports broadcaster, Dean, and I've chased the sports <laughs> that I find interesting. Right? 
Can we clip that, please? You got Jack. You, you got Jack in the corner of the room. Him, you got him. I'm a sports broadcaster. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a bit of a spit take in the corner of the room. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, I think it's going to be a Friday night. thing. Mm -hmm. Friday fights. We're seeing it all over the world of sports. People scrapping in the stands. Yeah. I, I feel like we never see it on our own, but now that everyone's got cameras, it feels like there's fights every single sporting event. This is a good one. Cleveland, whatchamacallit, New yep. York Yankees. And uh, we got a little back and forth here. We got some, some ninja skills. So we got Cleveland fan with the hat here looking up. We got old ah, man Yankee. Yeah. Let's uh, watch this. Is that your father-in-law? I like the Thank higher you, ground. I don't want to be I – mean, I want the higher well, ground, but that guy's old. Well, this is interesting because because young man Cleveland against old man Winter here, he's got some reflexes here. Watch this. Oh, he turns his back on him. And watch the, watch the reflexes. Whoop! Oh. Down you go, yeah. old man. See ya. <laughs> oh, he's oh, got the higher ground now. There's oh. the father-in-law, but watch out. Here comes oh. Rhett's uncle from the right. Bang! Oh. With the hat. There's so yes. much wrong. I have one that. of those jackets. I have one of those jackets. Let's watch that all again. There's a lot that happens here. It looks like it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It turns out to be four or back. five. Oh. And then goes, loss of balance. And then the Look at the reflexes. Throws the beer. But the guy swats the beer out of midair. It's a brilliant save. And, you know what? What? and then Clint Eastwood what from is Aaron the Judge, top rope. What kind of peripheral vision? Has Zero. Aaron Judge got going there? Because he doesn't see it coming. He, what are you looking at, dude? You're not a, at all aware. I like the yeah. I like the fact that there's a fight already. He steps in, throws a beer on the guy, and really doesn't expect anything in return. Watch, Watch the reflexes on the beer swat. This is so good. Once he sends Terrible old man punch. winter. What is that down punch? That guy's never fought in his life. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. Upside down. Now this guy tosses the beer. Hands down. Brilliant. Hands down. He's hands chest down. Out, like. First gets shoved onto Reaching. his butt, then gets up. What's he looking at? What are you looking at, dude? Pa! <laughs> it's almost as though these people are stupid. Or drunk. Just That's your pin reporter. <laughs> <laughs> so hands up in Pittsburgh today. Get your hands right? up. Hands up. Okay? God almighty. Higher ground, city. hands up. Oh, oh. right in the chin. Right on the jawline. Ouch. That like actually, that. don't you, you have that whole ensemble. Isn't that like the probably have that. Saskatoon dinner jacket that's there? A, yeah, that's the garage <laughs> tuxedo. <laughs> Village Honda, located in the Northwest Auto Mall online, villagehonda.com. Book your detailing package. Get your car, your vehicle all spruced up, starting at just $79.95. Clean off winter and get ready for spring and summer. Book your detailing today at your dealership for life, Village Honda. 